Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So today again I am back with one new project. In this project we are going to see if docker service is running in our system or not. And for doing this project what is our requirement? Our requirement is we should be aware about cut command uses and awk commands. So let us first understand what is cut command, what is use of cut command in Linux. The cut command in Unix is a command for cutting out section from each line of file and writing the result to a standard output. It can be used to cut parts of a line by byte position, character and field. Basically the cut command slices a line and extracts the text. So how to use it? Cut its option and then file name. Or you can use cat command open the file and then using the pipe symbol you can redirect it to cut command. So cut is mainly used for byte, byte level processing, character level processing and field level processing. The most used one which we will be using too frequently is field level. What is field in generally this command? So field is called column means to play with the different columns you can use hyphen f option. So let us understand these lines practically. So I have a file here in my system. The file name is test.txt. So in this file we have text 1, 2, this text, then abc, again this. And these all are separated somehow by a space. So first let us see if we are dealing with byte processing in cut command how exactly it will use so what is the syntax of cut cut then for byte hyphen b and which byte of the uh, this file you want to see so suppose i want to use check the first byte this is first byte so hyphen b and then one and your file name your file name is test.txt so what I, you can see from the first line it is giving y second line a third line a now you suppose I want to see the bytes from 1 till the end means first byte till the end of each each lines each lines. So one hyphen if you write it will give you all, all the lines means from 1 till the end. Now suppose you want to get the bytes which all bytes you want to see first byte second byte and third byte for each line. So what you can see the first three bytes first three bytes of second line and first three bytes of third line similar way bytes and character processing there is not much difference instead of bytes if you are using character processing also it will be almost same so you can see it's almost same now this is one thing you you will be using sometimes when you are processing with the files or processing with multiple lines written somewhere. So this is one of the use case of cut command. But the most important use of cut command which I will be showing you using the field processing and delimiters. But let us understand its theory first. So if you are using hyphen f that is field you can see hyphen c option is useful for fixed length lines but we will be using the variable. So using hyphen f option is the perfect option for us. Now most Unix files does not have fixed length. To extract the useful information you need to cut by field rather than columns. List of field number specified must be separated by comma. Ranges are not described with hyphen f option. Cut uses tab as a default field delimiter but can also work with other delimiter by using hyphen d option. So let us understand it as a layman language. What I mean by delimiter? What exactly is the use case of delimiter? So let us see this file first. cat test.txt file. So let us see in this file. You see this is one word. After that you have some space. Then you have again some space, in second line also some space, some space, this is also a space and this is also a space. Now, 
suppose you want to get this second from each line this second word how exactly you can do by default these delimiters right now is a space but as we learn theoretically it is telling cut uses tab as a default field delimiter so if we are specifying not specifying any delimiter it will be able to use the tab space but in our test file we don't have tab space at all so how we can get the second column if this column you have to see for each of the lines written here so let us see you, I, as i told you can use the cat command to redirect so cat test.txt then cut now in our case we want to get the first field first field means first column of each line so if you put hyphen f means field and first one but still you are getting all the all the lines so what is exactly problem here because by default it uses tab as a separator but here tab is not there this is multiple spaces so for this use case what we will be using hyphen d means delimiter deli means meter means how exactly these fields are separated and then in the quotes you can put one space so what exactly this means you are telling that cut with the delimiter cut with the delimiter and delimiter should be having a space so cut with the delimiter which is having a space and give me only the first field so here you can see one first field second field third field here also first field second field third field first field second field and third field you are telling that a space or delimit it by a space means this is a space you are specifying the delimiter and you are asking only for the first field so what should be exactly your result your result should be this let us see it practically so you can see by default its delimiter is separated by this so you are able to see the first field suppose you want to see the third field what should be the result this third word from each line so let us see you can see first second you are getting but still third field you third field from the third line you not got this is the problem with this spacing now one more thing which we should be understanding that instead of a space you can have multiple different delimiters also how to deal with those delimiters so to deal with those kind of delimiters i'll show you one file so etc slash password this is a file now here what you want to do you want to get the first field from each line but the delimiter should be this colon separator so here separator is colon so what you can do in this case your delimiter is colon and then which field you, you are looking for first field and what is your file name file name is etc password so slash etc slash p a w s w d and let us see so what you can see you are getting all the first first field which is separated by colon but now suppose you want first and fourth both both fields so you can do that and then here you are see, seeing first and four and the separator is delimiter among them now i hope cut command is clear to you guys so let us learn few more things and and then we'll run our program as per our requirement so what is my requirement my requirement is to check if docker service is running in my system or not so there is a command called systemctl command systemctl status docker now here you can see in the third line first line is this second line is this and in the third line you are seeing docker active colon and it is showing active running so what is my requirement my requirement is to go to the third line then cut in such a way that i should get this value because when it is active it will be written here active suppose if it's stopped what will be the value of system serial output so let us again check the status so here if you go you will see instead of active it is inactive so what exactly we have to do we have to get that particular third line 
एंड देन समहाउ कैप्चर द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्टिव और इनएक्टिव टू रन आवर प्रोग्राम सो आई शो यू वन बाय वन लाइन फर्स्ट थिंग इज सिस्टम सीटीएल स्टेटस डॉकर नाउ यू वांट टू हैव द थर्ड लाइन सो टू गेट द थर्ड लाइन दिस आउटपुट वी हैव टू रीडायरेक्ट टू मे बी ऑक कमांड इन द ऑक कमांड वट वी हैव टू डू योर थर्ड लाइन In the previous lectures, I explained NR. NR is called number of records, which should be equal to third line. And what you want to do in third line, you want to print in the third line. You want to print everything, whatever is written in the third line. You want to print the third line. So let us first see. So now we are able to get the third line, everything which is written in third line. Now in this, we have to get this value. So how to get this value? Now let us use the cut command on top of it. So what we can do? Cut. What is delimiter here? Our delimiter is colon. So cut hyphen d delimiter. And then in quotes, what you can write? Delimiter is colon here. Which field you want to have? So this is the first field, and this is second field. So you can mention clearly hyphen f, and then two. So now you are able to get second field but along with the second field we are getting these values also somehow somehow we have to remove these uh, these parts that's fine we can do that that's also possible so i hope this this line is not confusing any more for you guys now we can use again one more cut command how to do that again we can do cut Hyphen D delimiter. This time delimiter is this small bracket. So you can put a small bracket. But you need before this small bracket. This is the first field. So you need first field. So hyphen F and then you can put one. So now you are able to capture the value of active in your cut command. I hope this is clear. Now let us directly go and check our program. So how we can write this? So first line is C bang line. Then echo in the echo we are just printing the message status check Docker service. Then in status variable, what we are doing in the status variable we are getting the output of this command. And as I explained in previous lecture, this is tick symbol. If anything you write inside the tick symbol, this will be assumed as a command, and the complete output of this command will be stored in this quotes. And which will be stored in this variable, status variable. So, if you run this command directly, which we have done few seconds back, what will be the output for you? So, you are able to capture active. Now, let us open our file. So, active you are putting in the quotes because it is a string. So, in the status variable, you are just a storing value called active. And just echo message we are doing echo dollar status. Its value should be active in case it's running. now what we are doing we are telling if dollar status status is here getting the value active if it is equal to active then just print a message that service is running fine else just print a message service is not running and close your if condition so now let us try this program and see how it is behaving so first what we have to do we have to change the permission so how to change the permission ch mode plus x docker service check dot sh now we have to run the script so dot slash and your script name so what you can see it is printing the message of status that is active and here you are getting the message service is running fine now let us check again system ctl status docker so it's running fine as of now it's running fine let me do one thing let me stop the service and then again run the program system ctl stop docker so docker is now stopped you can see the status you will see the status here it is inactive dead now what you have to do run the same program again and see what is happening so now you got the message uh, echo is printing inactive and then you are getting the message service is not running so i hope this is really clear to you guys 
let me know if any doubts in the comment section thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time thank you